All right, hello. We are here to do a Flex Networks tutorial slash mod spotlight. Uh, make a couple assumptions before we start. I assume you know how to craft all the items yourself. I think you're competent enough for that. Other than that, let's get right into it. Uh, when I started, I had a power source and I had something I want to power. And I didn't want to use these, but I couldn't really figure out how to get this working. There wasn't a lot of documentation, so here we are. Basically, all you need to know is this controller controls everything. Let's create a network. We're going to call it uh, Pimpin Network. And we're going to select a color. We're just going to go 255, 255, and 0. All right. <clears throat> now we've got our network in the network lists. And then we can select that network for this controller. We can name this device as well. We'll call it main controller. Great. Now, how do we power stuff? And this is where it got tricky for me at first. You got your flux plugs that send energy. You got your flux points that receive energy. So you're going to take the send devices from the device you want to send, in this case, the solar panel, put it onto the one you want to receive, but there's still no power in this device. Well, let's try joining them to the network and click on the networks okay now they should active and wow look at that power is flowing so that's all you need you need a controller to set the network and then you need devices to join the network now let's say you want to add some storage for your network well it's really easy you're going to take your basic flux storage you're going to set it down and you're going to join it to the network and just like that we got ourselves a little basic flux storage and now we have a local buffer of 256,000 RF and a network buffer of 256,000 RF. So let's say all of a sudden we lose a way to access our solar panel. If we have a new device, it's going to pull power from the network buffer into whatever needs it. And there's a couple tiers of these. You got your Herculean storage, which stores 12.8 million. And you also have your gargantuan storage that stores 128 million. So it can get quite excessive. And you see they fill up automatically as soon as you join them to the network here. Look at it go. Yep, so that's about it for Flux Networks. Pretty straightforward. The key thing to remember, make sure you join all your devices to the network. And if you don't, they won't work. Other than that, these Flux Points are for interfacing with the rest of the world. These devices from the mod don't actually require any connections to talk to each other. So pretty cool stuff. Major props to the guy who made it. It's a sweet mod. And that's about it for today. So I so, uh, hope I was able to benefit you a little bit. Hope I cleared things up. Feel free to comment if you have any questions, thoughts, concerns. And uh, thanks for watching.